quiz is 10 questions. If three out of the 10, you're like, ooh, no, I don't do that. Okay, then you may really need to beef up your assertiveness. You may be in this passive category a little too much. Okay, does that make sense, everybody? <laughs> Question number one, when you speak with other people, is it very common for you to maintain eye contact? Yes or no? You might write this down. You've got a pen or pencil, write it down. What about with strangers? Eye contact with strangers. What about the lady at the cashier stand? Do you look at her in her eye? Yes. Okay. Okay. What about the lady at the drive through Do you try to make eye contact with her as she takes your credit card or do you just hand the credit card? Yes or no? You be the judge of you. Okay. Question number two. Do people often ask you to speak up or repeat yourself? Do you mumble a lot? Do you do what one of my stepkids does and he starts a sentence out strong like this and then by the time he gets to the end of the sentence, he's really fading out and then by the time he really wraps up his thing. I'm like, what? Okay. Does anybody know somebody that does that? They're, they trail off. You remember like old cassette tapes? I don't know, maybe songs still do it nowadays where they fade out. Like the band is still playing. There's a guitar solo going on. But the song just keeps getting softer and softer until you can't hear it no more. I'm, what? Okay, question number two, how do you sound? Quiet, mumble, do people ask you, do you speak up? Okay, number three, do you say a lot? Okay, I do. This is one I'm guilty of. I'll just be honest with you. Do you say a lot? That was number three. Number four, without changing your physical position right now, what is your posture like? Is it really shitty or is it confident and strong? Is your posture good? Is it not good? Number five, do you feel comfortable asking questions when you need clarification, yes or no? Number six, do you feel comfortable being around other people, strangers? Number seven, can you say no when you don't want to do something? Or do you always feel like you need to say yes because you don't want to let them down or for whatever reason it is? Can you say no when you don't want to do something? Number eight, are you able to express anger and annoyance appropriately. Be honest with yourself, okay? We're not. I'm not gonna ask you to tell us what your answers are, okay? You can be like, I know I kicked the fuck out of that dog yesterday. Like we need to work on this. Are you able to express anger and annoyance appropriately? Number nine, when someone's talking about something and you don't agree, do you offer your opinion on that topic or do you not? Number 10, do you defend yourself against mistakes when they are not your fault. What do we think about that, everybody? The quiz is over, you can put your pencils down. Is anybody in the room willing to say, hey, listen, I probably ought to work on some of this. It's just us, it's a private session. Would anybody say, hey, yeah, I see there's a couple, two, three, four deficiencies there. I could improve. All right, good. See, I just want you to feel like you're not alone because I do too. I told you right there, I confess to number three, I do real bad. Sometimes number six, I struggle with. I'll be real, which was, do you feel comfortable around others? Number three was the uhs and the ums. Number seven, can you say no when you don't want to? Okay, I fuck that up sometimes. And I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I feel like I don't express my anger or my annoyances appropriately. Sometimes I let it build up a little bit and then I hurt somebody's mm -hmm. feelings over it. I'm with you on all those, Justin. Come on, man. Come on, man. We all got problems. So definitely work to do on you. Okay, definitely work to do on you, see, not just the biz. But we all know that if you're making phone calls, how you are affects how you make the phone calls, which affects the biz. So that's why we're doing this here. Does anybody have any thoughts or comments they'd like to talk about when it comes to those quiz questions? 